Guys, what is going on everybody? We should be alive now. Hopefully you all can see uh, and hear me. Um, I guess see the background. Um, but anyway, we are live. This is the first break night from the new store, which I'm excited about. Um, I have not gotten around to setting up my breaking studio yet or my office at all. So. Uh, which I'm in right now. So if it sounds kind of echoey, it's because I don't have a mic and I haven't soundproofed the room yet um, and ignore our uh, ugly green background. So, um, but excited to go ahead and get into this for you all tonight. We've got a six box value uh, mixer with some museum collection, finest Bowman and some Bowman Chrome. Um, I already realized that I forgot a box cutter, so I'll have to go find one. Yes, we are live. What's going on, James? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm gonna run out and grab a box topper real quick. Uh, can you hear everybody here okay? If you, someone will just uh, shoot me a chat just to let me know that you guys can hear all right, that would be awesome. I gotta run out and, what's going on, TEW? How are you? Retro Gaming, how's it going? All right, perfect, cool. Uh, I'm gonna run out and grab a box cutter real quick and then I'll be back. I'm doing good, TEW. Uh, I am doing good. Walker, awesome. Okay, sweet, perfect. Sounds good. Yeah, it is super echoey in here, so. Uh, Mark, how's it going? Yeah, we're live from the new shop. The room that I'm in is like a 14-foot ceiling, which is ridiculous. That's why it sounds so echoey. Um, so sorry about that. We'll, we'll fix that here in the next week when I get around to it. But the lighting in here is much, much better, which I'm uh, excited about. Um, but it's already 8 o'clock, so let's go ahead and get into the random for tonight's break. Um, what's going on, Sawyer? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's been great so far. Super busy. Um, I've already gotten a lot of new people from uh, not, like, not regulars, I guess, I would say, um, which is cool. So, um, had been excited about that. Yeah, I know, it's super echoey. I can't really do much about it. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the random. To get a mic in here to get rid of this echo for next week. Um, but Al, first we gotta roll the dice. So we'll roll the dice here uh, two times or once um, to see. How many times are randomizing? 10 times tonight, uh, randomizing. That's my dad typing in chat. Sounds better with my computer back there. Yeah, we have to just soundproof this room anyway. So we've got a lot of little projects to do. I'm gonna try to get a break studio set up for by next week. Um, Got some fun things planned for next week. Series one baseball releases. I'm gonna have boxes available on the website as well as in store. I'm gonna have retail available. Um, I'll have everything available. Uh, hoping to do a series one case break um, night rip. So, uh, Dan Brian, this break looks like we aren't hitting anything. Big bummer. Yeah, no, Gavin did not buy in, unfortunately. Um, so he, yeah, we're not hitting no, no big hits this time. He's not, he's not going to take the whole break from everybody. So let me just double check. I just want to make sure that there are no duplicate names before we get randomizing and get around to that before. Got Michael and then Mike M. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So 10 times here. I'm going to make this, you can actually see it hopefully. Um, here we go. Once, twice, three times. Four times, five, six. What's going on, Kiwi? How are you? All the way from New Zealand. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we've got Bob G up top, down to Mike M on the bottom. Um, there's a Mike M and then a Michael M in this one. So we'll get those pasted up so you can see. There we go. Bob G at the top, down to Mike M at the bottom. Let's go ahead and do the teams. Good luck, everybody. What's going on, Jake? How are you? Or Great Lakes Breaks. Jake from Great Lakes Breaks. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, and good luck tonight. We'll do this 10 times. The teams now. No combos in this one. This was just straight up teams. Try to make this as affordable as possible. Um, but next week we will be doing um, some, we'll be doing hopefully a, a nice mixer, um, but also a case of series one jumbos. Um, so excited for that too. Uh, seven, 
Hello, sports card investor. Eight, nine, and ten. So the Brewers up top down to the Padres on the bottom. Let's get over here, get these teams pasted. There we go. And now the teams. We've got Bob G with the Brewers, Brian S with the Angels, Adam S with the Guardians, Mike M with the Rangers, Nicholas B with the Astros, Robert E with the Marlins, Mark C with the Dodgers, Robert H with the Giants, Jacob M with the Diamondbacks, Travis W with the White Sox, Michael M with the Mariners, Matthew K with the Reds, Mike M with the Cardinals, Eric B with the Orioles, Casey G with the Nationals, Mitchell M with the Rockies, Nicholas B with the Phillies, Nicole M with the Yankees, Luke Boots with the Pirates, Mike M with the Tigers, Eric B with the Cubs, Chris Thomas with the Red Sox, Mark C with the Braves, Garth G with the Mets, Brent T with the Rays, Michael R with the Athletics, Joel M with the Royals, Justin Myers with the Twins, uh, James R with the Blue Jays, and Mike M with the Padres. So that is the lineup for tonight. Um, with the teams, I'll give you guys a second, um, and then we'll go ahead and get into it. So there is everybody's teams. Um, if you have any questions, White Sox, yeah, better than the Rockies, right, Travis? Um, what was QE saying? Mike M, yeah, so hold on, I'll, I'll give you the full names real quick, just so you guys are clear. Um, they are separate. Um, one second, I'll tell you right now. Um, so Mike M is the person with four spots in here, if that tells you anything. Um, so you should know who that is. So Mike Miller is Mike M, and then Michael, uh, Michael M is Michael Mudge. So that's how I, that's how I separated you guys. So Mike M is Michael Miller, and Michael M is Michael Mudge. Hopefully that helps. Cyclone, jeez. Blue Jays, Vlad, Bichette. Um, does that make sense, Travis? All right, cool. Blue Jays, Vlad, and Bichette. There's, some, there's definitely some chances there. All the prospect stuff, too. Troy, um... Charged and didn't get a team. Let me look. I did, so we did oversell this break, um, and I refunded a few of you. I had to refund a few of you guys. I sent you all emails, and then I'm going to send you all a coupon code tonight if you didn't get um, in here, if you were one of the last ones to purchase. Let me check. Troy, it looks like you were one of the ones that was refunded. I'm going to double check and make sure that this went through. Tony, you were one of the ones as well. Um, check your email. I sent you guys an email. So I should have said that to start. I oversold this by three spots. There are three spots um, that we oversold by. Uh, the inventory tracker uh, did not. I put in too, too many spots. I didn't adjust it from last week, what was left over. Um, so we had a slight issue there. I sent you guys a refund. I sent you guys also a coupon code um, for next week, or I'm going to uh, send you guys a coupon code for next week. Um, you should have an email from me from upnorthcollectorsstore at gmail.com explaining that. Um, you should have a refund that just went through, Troy. I just pushed that through again to make sure that went through. Um, and hold on real quick, guys. Sorry, I'll go ahead and shoot you another email as well. Um, so sorry about that. Um, completely my fault. I'm giving you guys some break credit for uh, the next break. Just didn't keep track of the inventory on my end with my system. Um, so sorry about that. Uh, you guys have all been refunded. Um, just make sure that this went through real quick. Ponzi scheme breaking, exactly. 
Ah, ouais. All right, there we go. We should be good to go now. Uh, Cleveland Indians didn't get assigned. You did not miss the rip. What? The Indians. Well, they're the Guardians now. They should be. Yeah, they're in there. Guardians are in there. You guys are messing with me tonight. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the confusion, uh, but we should be good to go now. Got it? Okay, I sent you another email as well. Um, just sent that through. But the refund should have gone through. I don't know why that didn't go through before, but... Um, that should have gone through. Bigger shops have been working out great so far. It's been awesome. Yeah, exactly. So you already know. Um, uh, Michigan, it's really gross up here and freezing cold. So we're good on teams. Anybody have any questions? Just want to make sure before we get started. Um, so like I said, we oversold by three spots. Um, we originally oversold by two. I canceled two people's orders, refunded them, and then two more spots popped up as available, which I didn't even know about, and they sold again. So I had to cancel another person's order. So yeah, not fun. Um, so sorry about that, guys. Not fun for anybody, but completely my fault. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into tonight's break. So good luck, everybody. Should be some fun here. I think we're going to start with Bowman. I think that's the best place to start here tonight. Um, so some 2022 Bowman. This stuff is actually really sneaky right now. It's fallen almost $100 a box in price. This was all the way up to like $325 at one point, um, which was quite steep um, for this stuff. But it's come down significantly now. Um, and it's a pretty loaded set because you still have Churio's first Bowman. Uh, he does not have autos, um, but Churio is in here with papers and chromes and all that good stuff. You got Ellie, Khalil, Max Muncy. So good luck, everybody, tonight. Thank you again for selling it out and overselling it as well. I appreciate it. So thank you all for buying in. Uh, start, we're going to start trying to do two breaks a week now um, consistently, try to scale it a little bit. So like I said, next week we'll be back with two. But good luck tonight. Um, we've got a Robert Hassel to start us off. Uh, all cards are shipping. Uh, there's a nice Valera first. That's cool. Put that in a good stack. So one auto per box. Yeah, Wander Mania is bringing down prices a little bit, um, but there's a lot of, yeah, Trey Sweeney, he's in here. Um, there's another guy, too, I'm trying to think of that's in this, um, but I can't remember who it is, but there's a couple other good firsts. It's actually a really sneaky set, um, so definitely something to, to check out if you're into uh, maybe some wax investing or just want a fun rip um, that's not, like, crazy expensive. This stuff's pretty fun. Gil, uh, obviously, there's huge potential as well because you hit a super fractor of somebody that could be just huge, so... Brady House, there's a nice Max Muncy, a Jose Salas, and that's nice, Blaze Jordan first. That's going to be a Speckle. Pretty sweet. For the Red Sox, Blaze, he's actually a big card collector. Uh, if you've ever seen Ryan Card Collector 2, he actually did a video with Blaze opening up some packs, and they pulled one of his own uh, Bowman autographs out of it, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So if you haven't yet, check that out. That's cool. Blaze Jordan first. Hopefully y'all can see. Okay, this is the first time I'm breaking over here. Um, nice, Chris. That's cool. Um, oh, yeah, you have the Red Sox. Sweet. Well, nice hit. On the board early. Alcantara. It's so the first night over here breaking. It's been kind of hectic moving everything over and kind of get trying to get ready to roll over here. So, uh, Ooh, that's nice. Check that out. Oswald Peraza, top 100, number 81, number five of 25, orange, top 100, heading out to the Yankees. That's a nice hit right off the jump. So orange refractor, pretty sweet. Cool, thank you. I'm glad that it looks good. Um, tried to get it in a spot that it was decent. I don't know. I, I don't think I'll ever honestly need a bigger shop. Um, this this store, like if you were to come in this store, I don't know how many card shops you've been into, but this is a pretty, in terms of the ones that I've been into, this is one of the larger card shops. There's a few others that are bigger for sure. Um, this is one of the larger ones that I've ever been to um, that I have right now, but eventually I might need more warehouse space because my back room is already sort of uh, filling up and I have a decent amount of square footage in the back, but uh, it also just means I have to get selling, uh, sell some more stuff. Um, so Simeon Woods Richardson. 
No carts, we'll open one. That's what you gotta do. There you go. Person's dealing card shop. Colson Montgomery, yeah, he's in here too. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, Colson is a stud. Yeah, you. I'm sorry about the Echo. We have 14, uh, James Wood, that's the other guy I was thinking of. Um, the Echo is actually not like the microphone, it is in fact the room. Um, yeah, it does for sure. <laughs> Mom and Tad's garage is for a card shop. That's pretty much what I did on my bedroom for a while. Not an actual store, but you know, you got bedroom and then graduate into the basement and then graduate into a storage unit and then graduate to a store and then into a bigger store. So it's just kind of how it rolls. Still looking for our next auto or not next, but our only auto, Allen and Vargas. You like the echo, it makes the cards seem bigger. Okay, I dig it. That's cool. <laughs> Cal Raleigh, um, Reed Detmers. I think next week or the week after, we're also gonna have um, some other cool stuff. I've got some Bowman Draft Sapphire coming for next week for a mixer. That stuff will be fire. And then I also have some uh, Sonic, Topps Chrome Sonic Light that comes out. Um, I think I have a case of that coming as well, so we might break some of that on here as well. There's a nice Dominguez Chrome. So we've got some cool stuff coming out. Obviously, Series 1 next week. Um, if you're thinking about purchasing a box of Series 1, check out the website, come to the store, call the store, whatever. Um, I've got uh, plenty available. So we have a lot of that stuff available. Um, so check that out. I can ship that stuff out. Sometimes it's how it goes in cards, unfortunately. Ooh, this might be... The, we've got an orange auto. Uh-oh. For the Mets. Is this... Oh, it's a pitcher. He's pretty solid, though. This is nice. Uh, Robert Dominguez. Orange Bowman auto for the Mets. That's cool. Who's got the Mets tonight? Mets are going to... Garth. Nice. Nice hit, Mr. Griswold. Awesome. That's really cool. Uh, orange auto. Even though he's a pitcher, I sold some of his stuff when the product came out, and his stuff actually does sell quite well, so that's really solid. Uh, very nice first hit there for the Mets. Daryl Lopez and a Herbert Perez. Yeah, so getting excited. I don't know if any of you guys got a chance to look at the Series 1 checklist that comes out, but that set's going to be awesome. Uh, lots of good rookies. We get Michael Harris in that stuff, Riley Green. Um, a team in this break, so it's $52 a spot. It was random teams. Um, so that was the breakdown for it. Brian Bello, pitcher. Um, but Riley Green's in there. Michael Harris, Gunnar Henderson, which was a little bit of a surprise. Um, Brett Batty for the Mets is in there. Um, and then you have Adley Rushman, which is a big one. There's a couple other guys as well. So very, very solid checklist on that stuff. Yeah, it's super good. Oh, Finest is awesome. So in our last case break, we did a case break two nights ago. So yeah, I'm going to do a pick your team, the jumbo case. I'm going to do at least one jumbo case, um, at 50 or at, uh, as a pick your team, uh, and potentially a hobby case as well. Um, we'll probably do some form of either all card ship or you get one team set or something. We'll figure it out. Um, but we'll do that as well. Yes, yeah, so they're doing hangers. All will have hangers available, at least some available uh, online and in store. Um, we actually got allocated some retail product for series one. So they're doing cello packs as well. So they're doing like the value packs and then they're doing uh, hanger boxes, um, retail boxes and blasters uh, is kind of the breakdown for that. They also have some gravity feed boxes that you'd find at like a Dollar Tree. Um, so they're doing those as well. So plenty of series one. Yeah, the breaks get posted on the website, Facebook, and Instagram. There's a nice Ellie paper. And for the Orioles, oh, nice. That's a good one. There is the Adley Atomic. That's sweet. Heading out to the Orioles. Nice card there. Uh, definitely a stud, so that's very cool. Take it. Pretty decent box of Bowman here. Got the orange along with a couple other nice things. Nice auto. Two oranges, actually. Uh, do cards better than Panini? Uh, I would tend to agree with you, especially with baseball. Uh, Panini does make some nice-looking baseballs, but our baseball sets, but the top stuff always looks awesome. Looks like we've got a blue in this one. 
Yeah, it, it, it does. Um, there's a nice Cheerio first paper. It takes, it can take years. Um, it just kind of depends on how much money you spend. That's all they really care about, it seems like, is how much money you spend with them. So um, I think a couple of them do help me out a little bit with some of the stuff, but for the most part, it's all spend based. And some stuff's a little easier to get. Tops Baseball is actually a little easier to get than uh, some of like the Panini basketball stuff is really, really tough. So is football. Um, I hardly get any football allocated. I get a decent amount of baseball. Um, but football, it's it's very, very little. So there we go. Not too shabby. Let me pull up the other. We got no paper color out of that, which is kind of weird. But overall, solid box of Bowman. I think next we will go ahead and do a Finest and then maybe a Topps Chrome Black and then a Bowman Chrome and then another Finest and then some Museum or something like that in that order-ish. Uh, give away your price on series. Yeah, no, I, so my series one, I'm going to do, um, I believe I'm going to have uh, hobby boxes at uh, $90 shipped on the website. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, jumbo boxes at like $155 shipped uh, on the website um, will be the pricing on that stuff. So pretty reasonable. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to have some retail up there as well. It just kind of depends on how much I get. So do some of that up there too. So uh, check it out. Uh, I'll be shipping all that stuff on Wednesday. I might even post it a day early. So, All right, good luck, everybody. Finest time. This stuff's been awesome. Uh, hit or miss. In the case we did, it was kind of like some boxes are kind of in, and then we had one box that was just stupid good. So can definitely be cool. Lots of numbered stuff. Lots of cool vet autos. Lots of chances to hit with your team. So good luck out of here. Top finest time. I love this stuff. Super sweet looking. Uh, we've got Bieber, Ozzy Elby's Refractor, Matt Manning, and Jonathan India. Yeah, so let's see if we can hit some of the big rookies. Oh, ooh, there's a nice one right off the bat for the Rays. I'll show the back ones first before I get this in the sleeve, but a nice Wander Franco Refractor rookie. That's sweet. So a good start to the finest box. Wander Franco Refractor heading out to the Rays. Nice hit. I think Wander is going to have a little bit of a bounce back year this year. Um, his stuff just tanked. This pack has, oh, it's got a die cut. Ooh, these are kind of tough. Ramos, and these are one per case. Nice. Jackie Robinson heading out to the Dodgers. Very cool. Brooklyn Dodgers. Jackie Robinson. Yeah, Wander's completely dry. His pricing is just in the gutter, so... Uh, yeah, it does. Well, I think it's their throwback jersey, I believe, um, is why it says that, but... Yeah, Wander stuff just fall off. I've been looking at actually picking up just some Wander singles. I was looking at some of the Topps Chrome parallels the other day, and some of those are cheap um, compared to what they were at one point. Just really, really cheap. What's going on, Let's Turn 2? I'm doing good. Uh, new store's been good. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, we got a Scherzer, Machado, Yelich, Bueller, and an Aqua rookie for the Cubs. Nice. Seiya Suzuki. That's cool. Heading out to the Cubbies. I think he's going to be a stud, too. Uh, Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Chiefs are going to win. I think it's going to be a close game, though. It's like a point and a half spread. Vegas odds are like a point and a half. So they're betting it's going to be close. I think it'll probably be a close game, too. But it's always hard to know until you kind of get going. You probably know in the first quarter. Yeah, Wander Mania starts in April. Yeah, true. Yastrzemski and another rookie. Four. Ooh, that's sick. Awesome. Wander Franco, that is beautiful. Number two, 300, the Aqua. 101 of 300 for the Rays, Wander. This could be a, this could be a solid box. This is kind of like the one that we got last time. Uh, we had two really good rookie parallels and we got some fire autos. So let's see if we can see if we can get some fire. Yeah, all you gotta do is talk about them and then they start popping out, I know. Uh, no beef in here. Got Martinez and Stanton. Yeah, Jacob, this kind of feels like the, the box last week. That's what it feels like to me. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, Gray, Trout, there's a Contreras Refractor, Cabrera, and Chapman. Let's see, is this going to be the auto? These might be the autos. I don't know. We'll, we'll just go for it. Some beef. What's for dinner? Got some beef in here. It's flipped over, so I'm guessing this is going to be the auto. I think, yeah. So these are going to be the autos. I'm going to save the autos. Set this right here. I'm gonna do the packs below first. We'll save the autos. Do these next. 
Uh, should be some more colored. We've got another purple. Sweet. So we've got Semyon, Rogers, Alonzo, Arenado, and a purple for the Dodgers. That thing has a big surface mark in it. You can see it right there going through his midsection. But a Freddie Freeman to 250 for the Dodgers. Good box for the Dodgers here with that. The die cut. And next pack. Got some more beef. Green. These look sweet. The green lavas. The lava parallels just look awesome. Let's see a rookie. No rookie, but heading out to the Padres, Manny Machado. Cool. Green Lava to 99, 87 of 99. So very colorful, this box. Very nice. Lava. Now let's hit some fire in the autos. Good luck, everybody. Auto number one. Uh, we've got Torque and a Boba Shet. And flip it around here. Our auto going to rookie for the Mets of Tyler McGill. Not the premier first auto to hit, but another one for Mr. Griswold there, hitting another auto to start us off, so he's off to a tear. The Mets always hit in breaks. Every single time we do a mixer, the Mets get like 14 cards, every time. So, nice one there for the Mets. Uh, Tyler McGill, let's see what auto number two is. Let's get something cool here. Uh, this might be an insert auto, actually. Abreu. Uh, we've got Pena, rookie, and uh, MJ Melendez. And I think this is an insert. Good luck. Got 50. That looks like Walker. Yeah, Walker Bueller, uh, Aura of Excellence, heading out to the Dodgers. So cool auto there. I think he's set to come back this year. Um, so that's cool. But a pretty solid box of finest, that one. Uh, and a Bobby Witt insert auto, uh, not Bobby Witt, a uh, Wander Franco numbered card. That's exactly what I meant to say, and it completely came out wrong. But So some cool stuff out of there. Not too bad. Yeah, not a bad box, not terrible. It was not as good as the one we opened the other night, but still cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do Topps Chrome Black next. Oops, fell right into the camera. So in this one, you get one encase card um, and a pack. So good luck. These can be very hit or miss, but if you hit, the cards look amazing. So let's pull some fire, some cool vet autos in this one as well. Don't want to give it away. All right, here we go. Pack, three cards, hoping to get some sweet parallels. These cards sell really well if you get a cool parallel. Um, they sell really, really well. So let's see if we can get something cool. We've got Matt Manning. Brian De La Cruz and like a green atomic for the ooh nice that card's awesome. Heading out to the Angels, Shohei Otani. That's like a green ice number two 99, 12 of 99. That thing's awesome. Heading out to the Angels, sweet parallel there. These do really, really well. Um, I would not be surprised if that's pretty close to your buy-in back uh, on that one card there for the Angels. So that's cool. Uh, who's got the Angels here? Let's see. That thing's sweet. Uh, heading out to Angels is Brian S. Nice hit, Brian. Very cool. And our auto. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this is cool. This could be really cool. This is, Oh, this is going to be nice. All right. I saw the name. I want to give it away, but this is going to be cool. So depending on, I don't know who this is going to go to. Because this guy could be on a couple of teams, but this is going to be sweet. Um, let me see here. Okay. I think it would be between Chris and Nicole, I believe. Nicole M, this is going to be yours. Roger Clemens, gold auto to 50, number 13 of 50. I wasn't sure if he's going to be in a Red Sox uni or a Yankees, but that's awesome. Roger Clemens, you don't really see a ton of his autos at all. Of course, not in the Hall of Fame yet. Maybe someday, but very, very cool on-card auto. Roger Clemens, that was a really solid box. Uh, very, very good for Topps Chrome Black, so definitely we'll take that. Uh, Roger Clemens, cool. I think sweet. Yeah, it is kind of a messy auto. Astros would have been, yeah, okay. Interesting, but I agree, that is super messy. But at least it's big. It's not just like RC or something like some of these football players do. Uh, let's go ahead and do Bowman Chrome, then we'll get back into Finest. Let's do some Bowman Chrome. Let's get like a Churio Super. That would be awesome. Uh, nice thing about this break is that there are a lot of teams with some potential, some of the prospect stuff in here. 
Uh, next week, maybe we might do an all prospect break, maybe with some Bowman's, with Bowman Draft Sapphire, and some Bowman Hobby, and some Bowman Chrome. That could be kind of fun. Uh, chase some of these prospects as it gets into spring training. So uh, the Yankees have Dominguez going to spring training, so that's kind of big news um, that he's going there. Empty. Box one. And box number two. Pop these suckers out as well. So one auto in each of these boxes. Usually a couple of numbered cards. So let's go ahead and get into it. See some fire. Maybe a Julio rookie auto. I mean, you never know. Um, this might be our auto right off the jump here. Looks like a base auto. Got Balsazar, Noel, Luis Gill, Vidal Brujan. And for the Rays, Drew Baker is going to be our first auto for the Rays. Like Bowman Platinum never gets... Bowman Platinum is just more of a... Uh, a I guess just a cheaper set. Uh, most people don't consider it to be like a true Bowman set, I guess. Um, so it just hasn't had the same popularity over the years. This might actually be our other auto here. I kind of forgot about that. But looks like another base auto if it is. Um, let's hopefully we see something cool here. Jake Berger, Jared Kalenic, and... First for the Rangers, Jason Marobel auto. Okay, so the autos were not anything super wild out of here. I think this guy does decent, um, but I don't think it's anything crazy. But for the Rangers, so got our two autos out of the way very early there. Let's see if we can make it up with some sweet color. Maybe just a nice super fractor base. There's a Julio rookie, uh, which is sweet. We'll sleeve him up. Uh, and then Jokinzi Noel, that's going to be a refractor to $4.99. Get those sleeved up quick. Um, this stuff has still been selling. I've been selling Bowman Chrome on my eBay store recently. Just a lot of the singles that I had acquired through the shop. Um, I bought some lots and stuff, and it's been selling pretty well. A lot of these prospects still are doing well. Some of the stuff's falling, but uh, Munoz is still doing well. Alexis Hernandez. Um, there's a guy for the Padres that's selling well. I can't remember his name, but he's a stud. We got a gold in here. This could be big. Good luck on this one. Gold. Let's see something cool. Ooh, that's a nice one. Heading out to the Padres, James Wood, gold to 50. That's sweet. Uh, I just sold a yellow to 75 of James Wood for like 40 bucks or 30 bucks. So that's a pretty solid card. Gold number to 50, 15 of 50. James Wood's way up there on the prospect list, so that's cool. Um, that is definitely a pretty solid card. So nice gold there. Too bad it wasn't a first, but still very solid. Pena rookie, Batcham, Dominguez, and Garrett Mitchell. Got a Rizzo, Chisholm, uh, this is a James Outman. Then we've got a Gels and Luis Rodriguez. Next pack. Uh, I thought we had color, but I don't think we do. Reed Detmer's rookie, Ezekiel Duran for the Rangers. Any prospects that you guys are chasing or picking up right now off the secondary market that you're stashing away? I think they might have a big year. Prospecting is always fun. Uh, Ortega, Job, and Meza. I don't really have anybody on my radar right now. There's a couple of people that are just kind of cheap that I've been looking at. I haven't made any purchases yet. CJ Stroud, okay. I like it. Votto, Devers, and we've got a green, not a first either. Colton Kowser, another nice name, but a green shimmer for the Orioles, number 299. Colton Kowser, Josh Young, yeah, he's a stud. So that's sweet. This pack feels like it's thick, but I don't think it is. Uh, we've got Joe Adele, Luis Colas. Yeah, he's a stud too. Holiday, James Wood, Benny Montgomery. And a last pack of Bowman Chrome. We have an Invicta in here. Joshua Baez, Invicta, Nelson Velasquez, and Matt McClain. That was a pretty tough box there, Bowman Chrome. Not much going on in that one, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get into our last box of finest. Uh, Jung is auto only, and I believe people have rumored that he is an SP. Um, there's a couple of guys, same thing in draft I've noticed, there's a couple of guys in Bowman draft that are kind of SP'd uh, pretty heavily. 
So just kind of like what they did with Joe Adele a while back. His autos when they came out and Bowman were SP'd too. Um, makes it kind of fun to chase, but at the same time, it's just tough to hit them. Uh, tops finest box number two. See if we can beat box number one. Pretty solid first box, but hopefully we can beat it. Sit something crazy out of here. So we still have museum collection to go. So hopefully hit some fire out of that one. Uh, we've gotten some awesome stuff out of museum before. Hit that Juan Soto one of one patch auto, which is sweet. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Top finest. Sit something big out of here. We've got Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers, Jose Abreu, Ryan Vallad, Rookie Refractor, India, and Bryce Harper. John the India kind of fell off a little bit. Didn't hear much about him last year either. Uh, Corey Seager, Javi Baez, and Scherzer. Um, I know he won Rookie of the Year and then didn't really hear much about him after that, which is kind of funny. But Next pack, Hunter Green, Cornerstones, Vlad. Those look awesome. Uh, Manny Machado and Goldschmidt. Is that, did he got injured? Is that what happened? Okay. I was wondering because didn't see much with him. His cards weren't really hot. We've got another die cut. Whoa. And two Brian De La Cruzes. Interesting. And for the Braves, that's cool. Hank Aaron, 1957 uh, die cut there. Very sweet. So those are supposedly case hits, uh, but they seem a little more common than that. And then that, that Nick Lodolo is just destroyed. Ugh. Tough. Pack. Let's see if we've got we've got some a beef in this one. There's a nice white rookie, Melendez, Royce Lewis, Pedroia, Aura of Excellence, and rookie for the Rays. The wrong Ray though, but another Ray colored card to 250. Josh Low or Lau, uh, nice Aqua of Vapor, pretty sweet looking. We should have some more color in it. Let's see a Julio or a Wit, one of those guys. That'd be awesome. Ooh. Ooh, you see that? Some red. This could be spicy. Good luck, everybody. Red refractor number two, five or ten, five, ten, something like that coming up. Let's see. Not a rookie going to the Orioles. Ryan Mountcastle heading out to the Orioles, number to five, five of five. That's pretty awesome. Heading out to the Orioles. Could have been huge. Still a nice hit. Ryan Mountcastle is definitely not a bad name, but I was hoping to see one of those big rookies. But that's cool. Ryan Mountcastle, red, number two, five. Awesome. Finest has been hidden. It's been fun. Yeah, that card is awesome. Those reds look awesome. Just sick looking cards. Detmers, we've got a Soto on this one, and Matt Manning. Uh, it's a second year, second year Mountcastle. So that's why it's not a rookie. Sheets, Joe Ryan, there's a Montero rookie, Pena, and a Corbin Burns. I think these are the autos last time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip them. Let's see if I was right. I got beef in here too. Uh, I think I was right. I uh, got Rogers, McCutcheon, DeGrom, Molina, and nice for the Angels, Brandon Marsh rookie. Um, that one's number two, 300. That one has a little bit of line. That's, up, that's all dinged up too. Yeah, that might come off. I'm not sure, but there's like some residue on the surface on that one, like a line almost coming down. Uh, but number two, 300, Brandon Marsh. And this one should also have a numbered card in it, the way that these things have been running. Looks like it does. Mullins, Acuna, Judge, Miguel Cabrera. And I think it's going this way. Not a rookie, but heading out to the Cubs, Wilson Contreras, number two, 199. Cool. Yeah, a little schmutz there. Exactly. Uh, but in a sweet Contreras. And time for both of our autos. Let's see if we can hit something big out of here. Uh, looks like a base auto in this one. We've got Bogey, Altuve, uh, Perez, and Luis Robert. And auto number one is going to be rookie for the Orioles, Spencer Watkins. One of the guys you always get out of here. So headed out to the Orioles. We're having a pretty solid break. Uh, Spencer Watkins, rookie auto. Orioles box so far. Cool looking card, but Spencer Watkins is just not who you're looking for, unfortunately. So let's see if we can pick it up. That one wasn't colored, so hopefully this one will be. 
Oh, it looks like another base one. Shoot. I was hoping to see some color. Let's see something big here. Come on. We got a Torque Rookie and a Semyon. And this one is going to be not a rookie, but going to the Braves. Andrew Jones. That's pretty sweet. Heading out to the Braves. Very cool. Uh, Andrew Jones Refractor Auto. He's got the Braves. That's pretty cool. A uh, little vet action there. Um, Braves are heading out to Mark. Nice hit, Mark. That's cool. Mark C with the Andrew Jones. Sweet card. Almost a Hall of Famer, uh, but very, very cool. Nice auto there. So Andrew Jones auto to finish it off. Two pretty okay. Every box in here has been okay so far. Um, just slightly above average, but nothing just like absolutely insane yet. So let's see if we can do that here in a museum. You never know. I mean, who just got in this year? Who's the guy that got in this year? I don't even really know much about the dude that got in. Um, who even was it? I want to say it was Todd Helton, but that's not right. Who was the guy? Whoever got in this year, I was looking at their stats and stuff. I was like, eh, it's kind of, kind of not questionable, but just interesting. Didn't really think that he would have been a Hall of Famer. Yeah, Fred McGriff. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Scott Rowland. There you go. That's who I'm looking for. It was Rowland. Jamie, how's it going? Yeah, Scott Rowland. I was like, eh. Mm. Yeah, just didn't, didn't really think that he was uh, of that caliber. But apparently it is, I guess. Because um, that was a guy, like, I, I knew of him, but didn't know anything about him. Pack two. Let's see if we can get some fire out of museum collection. Let's see if we get one of the crazy 101s, one of the framed autos, or something like that. That would be sweet. Got three packs. They're all kind of thick so far. Let's see if we can get something crazy thick. Yeah, hit the like button. That would be awesome. Use a gold glover, multiple time gold glover, I think, but not. They didn't have much power or much power behind the plate. That pack's the thickest. We'll do that one last. But good luck, everybody. Last box. Again, thank you all for buying in tonight. Really do appreciate it. Um, we'll be doing some more breaks soon. Obviously, next week, I'll get the Series 1 stuff posted on Tuesday. Um, and then we'll get uh, you know the break posted Tuesday. We'll do a mixer as well on Tuesday. Get both those posted and break Thursday next week. So make sure to check that out. Um, if we do do a Series 1, I might push that one and do one Wednesday. Um, that way we have like a release night Series 1 stream. That could be kind of fun. But good luck here, Museum Collection. We've got Cody B, Alex Bregman, nice Bobby Witt rookie, headed out to the Royals, and a Scherzer on the copper. And this one is going to be... Come this way. We are for the White Sox. Yasmani Grandal, patch auto. Okay. Heading out to the White Sox. I don't think they've hit yet. That's full number to 357. Weird numbering on Yasmani Grandal. But nice patch auto there from Museum of Yasmani. Interesting way to start it off. Um, not really who I was expecting to get there for the White Sox. But hey, so cool. Nice hit. Solid player. Let's see if we can pick it up, though, a little bit here. Now that we got Bieber. Oh, that's for you, Travis. Nice. Hit is a hit. <laughs> Uh, Buster Posey, Copper, and Meaningful Material for the Braves. Is that Austin Riley, maybe? To 20, ooh, sick patch. To 25, heading out to the Braves. Austin Riley, that's cool. That patch is awesome. Like some pinstripe right in there from maybe the shoulder or something. That's sweet. You don't really, in baseball especially, you don't see a ton of like awesome patches. Museum's one of the few products that has some really, really cool patches, so that's cool of Austin Riley. Two packs left. Come on, let's get something big here. All these feel pretty, ooh, there's a nice one. Right off the jump, Julio Rodriguez rookie. That's sweet. You don't really see a ton of those, so that's very cool. Chipper Jones, canvas of Dennis Eckersley. That's sweet, and behind it, a Joey Votto copper. And the hit is gonna be game use memorabilia. Going this way. Jared Walsh for the Angels, number to 99. Jared Walsh. Okay. Interesting. Not a bad player, just kind of obscure. Wish it was Trout or Otani. That would have been awesome. But primary pieces, quad for the Angels. 
And one pack to go. Let's get something big here. This one felt a little bit thicker, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see, oh, it looks thin, so hopefully it's an auto. We got a Jackie Robinson. Oh yeah, the Raleigh, sorry I didn't show that one. Uh, this is a canvas, so they're not numbered um, or autographed or anything like that, but they're a canvas collection, uh, one per box insert in museum. So very, very cool looking cards, just awesome looking. Um, but that one was of Eckersley for the athletics. Jackie Robinson, Freddie Freeman, Joey Votto, Max Scherzer, and Travis Ooh. Mark Burel, maybe? Mark Pure? Don't even know. How do you say that name? Uh, interesting last auto there. Uh, number two, 125. <laughs> Hitless pack this time will probably be, I don't know, I have to look at what I have left on my shelf. Um, like Heritage Minor, Pro Debut, Burley. There you go. Burley. Okay, got it. Got it. Burley. Uh, interesting. So some cool stuff there. Overall, solid break. No crazy bangers. Um, but did get this nice Roger Clemens, which is cool. Okay, all right, so he's solid. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Thank you all again for jumping in. Quick hit recap for you. Austin Riley, Grindall, Jones, Watkins, Contreras, Marsh, that sweet Mountcastle red. And then we've got a Josh Lowe, Hank Aaron, Kowser, sweet James Wood Gold, Julio Rookie, Noel, Maroble, Drew Baker, that sweet Otani, uh, Bueller, McGill, Manny Machado, Freddie Freeman, Wander Franco, say a Suzuki. Awesome, Eric. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. I'll save this stuff for you guys. I won't ship it um, for Eric and crew. And then that Dominguez auto. So some solid stuff there. Thanks again, you all, for jumping in. Really do appreciate it. Make sure to check out the breaks next week. We'll have a Pick Your Team Series 1 case uh, and hopefully another mixer as well. So again, thank you all for jumping in. And